<laughs> you really, he, funny thing, he, yesterday, on yesterday's show, he kept telling me how nervous he was. I'm still nervous. Why, why are you nervous? But look, I get all nervous people, all the time. All these people, look at the smile. I love him, I know, I love him, I love him, I love him. love you, so what? I know, I love him. You're worried about who's out there behind that, that's the red light. I, I love my, I don't know why I'm nervous. <laughs> a lady there is pointing to that. I asked him about that on Monday's show, The yeah. Star. What, what did you want to know about that? Everybody is a star. You think it's the star of David? It is, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Maybe David Kaplan. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to, we get. But I have one with five points also, like Muhammad. Yeah. Mohammed's with us today. Yeah, he's with me every day. You go all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna, just before we cut off here, are you going to go to Africa to see him fight George Floyd? Yeah. Are you? I won't miss that for the world. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have to leave you. We're coming right back with Sly and a lot of surprises. <laughs> this next man is, we were just talking about I can whip him too. You can whip Muhammad? Yeah. <laughs> Why, are you into the karate stuff? Well, yeah. I often wondered. I asked, I've asked a couple, got I've, to, I've asked Sugar Ray Robinson, I've asked Rocky Graziano how... A karate guy would, would fare with a great boxer. He'd win. And, mm, I don't know, they're awfully, I know. awfully fast hands, man. <laughs> no, but they wouldn't fight. Oh, by the time a karate guy goes like that, no, but they wouldn't he's fight. on his back. <laughs> they wouldn't fight. They wouldn't fight. Karate is mental also. Yeah, but what if something occurred and they Then they'd fight? lose. The boxer would lose? Sure. We'll ask Muhammad about that. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> really. Well, we'll ask him when he comes out. He doesn't know. He's not even the... He's not into karate. No. <laughs> How would he know? Well, we'll ask him. Okay. You want to introduce him? Yeah. You guys are very tight. You need to introduce him or whoop him or whatever you want to do. <laughs> Go ahead and introduce him, Sly. Just anything okay. you want to say about him. Say something. I love like. Muhammad Ali. Yeah. 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 Happy again today, I can tell. Why do you, I've seen you, I've, I've seen you never walk out with a, with a nice smile. You always, you well, look I don't like you're like troubled it. when you, you walk out. Because I am troubled. We have so many problems in the world. These shows are not getting on yourself. Just leave you out. But in general, these shows are so phony. Yeah. Everybody's laughing. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Everything is a laugh here in America. That's ain't right. Nobody's serious. People it, hungry. But it ain't my all, all kind of trouble. And kiki 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 kiki. That's right. That's and the right. black entertainers. That's right. Kiki 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 kiki. That's right. You too. Black entertainers. So kiki kiki. Trouble, kiki. You know? <laughs> That's right. Is there an echo in here? <laughs> no, I'm with it. I'm with it. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, sometimes, you know, I think we should use this uh, stuff. We ain't planning on going to church to, uh, <laughs> to, uh, to uh, get, get, get a... Uh, tension for things where you need, you know, I okay. played a lot and I clowned a lot. And okay, you, sometimes you got I, a platform. I'm, no, I'm, in, so I'm just, just saying this is why I'm not always. I get tired of Negroes doing all this. Why are you for audiences? Hey, 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 TV, hey, everything is so good. He makes a little money, I make a little money. But his brothers and uncles of mine are catching hell and hungry. And we on TV, hey, yeah. like everything is so rosy. And I can't go off yeah, being guilty. Yeah, There's Muhammad. too many wise people. Muhammad. I'm talking now, man. Okay. The only thing we can do for brothers is to do what we're doing, be examples, and to be he 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 happy, and to be intelligent, like you are, and like you always say. Thank you. How do you feel about that? In the, in the this, I'm too intelligent to debate yeah. with the brother on television, you know, or even clown with him on television, but behind the doors, we can have a good time, but not with all the people watching. Yeah, we can, yeah, we can. Wait a we minute, did. now wait. If that's we not, we'd be phony. Now wait a minute, that's not being honest, what you just that's, said. That's what I'm saying, we'd clown be phony. behind doors. We'd be phony if we I didn't said, do the I same if thing. I had a clown out here with the, with no, 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 you just said clown. I said, if I had clown, clown around, don't you agree with me? Yeah, we're going to clown around. If you don't like it, I'm going to whoop you. How would you, how serious, getting serious for a moment, we were talking about the karate thing, and I've asked many no, fighters, I don't know that. how would a, a top-notch boxer like yourself 
manage with a guy who knows. They won't knows fight. Pride. I think. Uh, I mean, if they did, if a boxer, they wouldn't fight. So, now, Muhammad, we'll let him. I told him he's finished. Okay. That's right. I always remember that. <laughs> <laughs> they would not fight. I'm telling you the truth. A, a good a Muhammad and a good karate man would not fight. Well, if yes, let him let him answer his slide. Just for right. what, what, how would how would See, how would you manage? Mean? White man doing that to me. <laughs> But I'm your co-host. Yeah. <laughs> Half the action's mine. <laughs> How would they? How would they fare? I uh, uh, mentioned the co-host on changing the subject. I've, you know, I've been off of this show, the co-host, Johnny Carson, Dick Cabot. Right. And the shows, is just so much laughing involved until I never would be a co-host until I can uh, have who I want on the show, talk about what we want to but talk about. I told about. you you could do that. Oh, uh, it won't be a show. Hold it now. Let me say it. Okay. Um, but I'm going to say this. Um... The question. What was the question? You see what I mean? Top you you can't have who you want on the show. Expert. I had who I wanted to show you. A uh, top-notch uh, fighter, fighter, and a karate man. The fighter wouldn't stand a chance because there's only one or two things he can do: is ball his fist up and throw a jab. With a karate man, it's jumping and kicking and man. falling down. And it's, it's too much. It's Just too put your much. arm up. You clowning? You clowning now? Put your. I can clown on television. I clown backstage. <laughs> <laughs> champ. That's right. That's the right. people's champ. That's right. right. Well, That's right. I'm not here to clown. And it is and it is your word still hold that win or lose, that's it? That's your last fight? Ain't no lose. Yeah, no, but he said win or lose. Ain't he no said lose. himself. Ain't I know no that, lose. but he said himself. Ain't so. no lose. I don't care. Okay. But, uh, we, expect, <laughs> uh, we expect a good fight. Shouldn't be no trouble. <laughs> George is awful strong. Yes, he is. And he don't really hit that hard. It may come as a shock to most people because... Uh, he knocked Joe Frazier down six times. But he didn't stay down. No, and he knocked Martin down three times, and they all ended on the feet. They don't know, they don't know how hard you hit, man. But they were too, they weren't, um, they weren't experienced enough to uh, recuperate, and they didn't have the footwork nor the speed. They don't know how hard Mom and hits. Nobody. Honest goodness. Well, he's not, you knocked a lot of people out, didn't you? Mohammed hit so hard, it's ridiculous. I'm telling you the truth. I know. I know. Did he, has he hit he you? It's hard. He hit. I tell you what, I had a pea coat on. I went to his house, I had a pea coat on. He hit every button on my pea coat without hitting me. You mean just. I mean, I'm talking about speed, buddy. Speed. I'm speed. I'm really. I'm talking about speed. <laughs> really. If I don't speed out of here for one of those things, we're not coming back. We'll be right back, right at the. You better be good. <laughs> you better be good. What, you mean in Africa? When he fights? You just better be good, period. Oh, he gonna, he's going to be in shape. Are you working on anything new for the fight? Because you always come up. You, you were talking about the bolo punch. Oh, yeah. Kid Gavilan's bolo punch. changed the name to the ghetto whopper. The ghetto whopper? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. To express the opinions of members of the House Administration Committee. Here is that committee's chairman, Democratic Congressman from Ohio, Wayne L. Hayes. Welcome. Congressman, uh, why do uh, politicians have such low credibility today? Well, I think it's partly because uh, there's so many problems in the world and uh, people are so dissatisfied and uh, there's so many things they want they can't aspire to and they turn to the government and the government doesn't satisfy them and uh, so they figure that uh, and they, give they, up. Don't, they give up. You know, uh, I was saying uh, just today that there isn't a government in the free world that has a majority government. Every government in the free world is a minority government. Uh, all the European countries have minority governments. So we have a divided government here, and it's... Uh, and we do have terrible problems in the world, and we don't have all the solutions as far as we may try. Would you ever get into politics, Mohammed? No, sir, because, see, when you people discuss things, they're not, they're not uh, 
our problems. See, I'm looking at the black people as a nation, and all of our problems, you all don't have nothing to solve them. See, we need a spiritual, divine man, and I believe Elijah Muhammad is that man. We have prostitution problems in New York City mainly, and all I see is the black sisters being used by all type men, and ain't no politicians mentions it. We got dope problems, gang fighting among self, a lack of love for self, no respect for our women. We don't have no property. We don't have no land. We don't work 400 years to make this country the wealthiest country on the planet. None of you politicians talk about repaying us for the 400 years of slave labor. You're not the ones who slaved us, who lynched us or raped us, but your people stole the property and left it with you and you're still guilty because you keep it. All the TV stations, all the legacy, this is the Ramada Inns, the Holiday Inns, all the land, everything is yours. So ain't nothing in politics for us. Yeah, but as a politician, couldn't you help the blacks? No, because I got to have the white man's flag over me and I got to represent all the No, you don't. I'll change. I disagree with that, Muhammad. I, you know, there are well, a lot of blacks in Congress and they don't have the white I'll man's flag. I don't fuss with the brother on TV. No, I know. There's going to be niggas and fools in front of white people. I'm not going to Let me talk to them. I'm talking to them. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to everybody here. Oh, well, I'm talking to them now. I'm take your hand on my face. I'm talking to everybody here. Let me talk to them. I'm, I'm they talk asking to me questions. I understand. This is, what, this is our problem. I understand. You understand? We got to get together. Well, we're not going to. And I don't think it. politics have a problem. I'm talking to brothers. No, but I want to change the color of the flag. I'm serious about that. I'm not. Okay. You talk about the flag over your head. We're going to change the color of the flag. Okay. That's a heck of a job. Yeah. Well, it is a, a job. See, now we get no stuff that don't make no sense. We're talking about something. I guess it makes more sense than Bessie Ross. I can look at this and see what I'm talking about. <laughs> I hope the people can watch this show and see what I'm talking about. Well, they will. They live in my sure the black day. people understand. Black people do understand, brother. We uh, what that. I was saying was this. Is that I don't think I can be in no office in this government and don't represent the country which represents all the people. I'm not saying it's bad to represent all the people. I'm not saying I wouldn't want to represent all the people one day. But yeah, charity, but you do, man. Yeah. But now, wait a minute. Charity starts First of all, to home. get into charity office. Charity starts first at home. God helps those help themselves. I got to help myself and clean up myself and love myself and do for myself before I can go to help others. I don't have time to help white people because there's enough white people to help white people. I don't have enough time to help no Jews. There's enough millionaire, billionaire Jews to help the Jews. There's enough I black people to help black people. All right, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> now you're talking. So my program is only worrying about my people first. That's what I'm saying. And I can't be in no politics saying I'm just for the black people. It's not right. Yeah, where do you live, though, brother? Oh. At home. Yeah. We'll be right back, right after this message. Be right back. Congressman, many times on a show like this, when we cut away for the commercial breaks, a lot of things you said that I like to hear repeated. I'd like to, you to repeat what you said about the congresswoman from Texas. Well, I, I want to say this to Mohammed before, and we got a little side argument going. One of the brightest minds in the United States Congress today is a freshman congresswoman from Texas, a black woman by the name of Barbara Jordan. I think she can get... I think she can get to the heart of the problem about as quick as anybody. We had a meeting just a few days ago with a group of British parliamentarians to talk about common problems, and I took her there. I asked her as a special favor to go to this meeting. Yeah, but he's saying and that she so many was, black uh, 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 people that have a lot to say. Well, that's true, but uh, there's a lot of white people that have a lot to right. say in Congress, but it and only can be that. 435 congressmen at any given that time. For 400 years. Well, uh, the but, blacks. Uh, and now are getting elected, and uh, let me say this, Barbara Jordan was elected from a constituency that doesn't have a majority of blacks. Yeah, but what he's saying is that he doesn't care about being elected. Well, I, he you know, that's, uh, that's up to him to, go, to decide that. That's not for me to say, but, but I am saying that some black be. people are making a contribution in that field. But isn't it time that we all live together? Well, I don't think we can live so. Time for living, time for you. Yeah. I don't think we can live segregated. I don't think you can segregate the Jews into one compartment, the blacks into another, the white Anglo-Saxon Protestants into another, the Catholics into another. I think we're all here in this country and we're going to have to live together and get along together. And uh, your, your entertainment wouldn't go if nobody but blacks went to it or paid or, or got admissions. And your fights, right there. Your fights I, wouldn't I gross what thing. they do if the whites say, didn't I want to say one thing. If then a white man come to hear him 
We got 40 million black people that love his music. He don't need no white artists. I just well, want to say. there's no 40 yeah, million no, white people the, in this country either. I'm just saying, million. I can't let you stay on the TV you, and say that he wouldn't make it if it wasn't for the white people. Well, I'm not saying he wouldn't make it, but I'm he, saying he wouldn't make it as big as he does. You're right. If we have white people promoted. No. I got one more thing they say to you. Okay, now, what, he's, black people, what he's saying is that it, it does not make you big else because like, white people come. Congressman yeah, didn't say that. He said that you're, you're, I, I you know, wouldn't go I, as I'm big. He he said. Said. No, with your fights and is what he said. And country wouldn't be if it wasn't for us. Well, you don't need that. America wouldn't be nothing if it wasn't for my people slaving and working for a whole hundred years. And you white people fighting in all of your wars. Yeah. Then you talk about if That's I right. didn't white people come to my fights, I wouldn't have no money. We built the country. That's right. We fought in all the wars. We were lynched. We were captured. We were murdered. And some of us, all our some of us were in on that. We, we, we want to give you a little I bit. We want to give you some credit, Mohammed. But after all, you're 11 million out of 210 million, so you didn't do everything. The whites did something too, you know. You did do Everybody something. made a contribution. You did do something. You killed off all the Indians, then you brought us over and robbed us. Of yeah, everything. but what Mike's trying to say is that there's that. a way to say all of this without having any animosity. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. I buy that. Yeah, well, so you ain't no animosity. Ain't nobody hitting nobody. You better should not sound like it. <laughs> Words are more powerful than fists. That's why, you know, that's why animosity. That's I think why. it's a fairly <laughs> simple, uh, sim well, simple. simplistic <laughs> argument that we're having here. On yeah. the one hand, saying, no, why can't we all live together? Now we know that it's tough to live together, and we know that there are animosities, and we know that there's back dues and back pay and back uh, things that are owed to people and not just to blacks, yeah, but to Indians as well, and to women as well, and to other minorities. It is well. not simplistic. Well, there's nothing simplistic. The man simple. and his wife don't live together in perfect harmony all the time. I'll tell you one you thing. Know, you they sometimes house, they have you problems. A, you take a house, you take a country, you kill off all the Indians, you kill off the blacks, and you get everything is yours. Now you say, let's live together without giving up. Up nothing to reach in. Now you want peace. You got everything. Now. You done conquered the world. Now you want to be peaceful. But well, ain't people ain't resting. They don't want no peace. Yeah, but if somebody said I only care for whites, we would label him uh, by very ugly epithets. And if I said I only care for Jews and nothing else, I would be labeled as an exclusionary elitist. Freedom. I only care for the freedom and the unity of my people. Everybody else has got it. Not really. No, no, not true. Not everybody not else. I don't buy that. Well, uh, I tell you what. I bet you the Viet Cong, who we black people, who not me, I wasn't fool enough to go. Who those who help fight? I bet you the Viet Cong is more citizens and can come here and put on a little suit and get more freedom and move in neighborhoods and put up business where Negroes came. I believe that. Oh, no, that's not no, right. I believe that. I believe that. They're under a dictatorship no. just like the Russians. Can, the Chinese can, the Japanese can, the Germans can. Everybody that's not American can go and do what Negroes can do. So quit being hypocrites on this TV. The whole world, no Negroes, the lowest, Black the most down, the most disrespected, and the less protected than anybody. Well, where can't you go? Uh, Mohammed and oh, okay, I'm one big it. nigga. I'm a nigga. Got ten million dollars. I'm a great fighter, so I can go. But I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about the brother. Can't on. pay his rent. Yeah, he ain't got nothing. Well, what about the no white home. man who can't pay his rent? Well, There's a lot fault. of them. It's his damn country. Huh? He should get out there. You know. That's his fault. Yeah, it's his damn country. Not all the poor are black and not I all know, the poor I know, you got white. some poor white. Well, then I'm looking for my black brothers. You look out for your white brothers. That's, that, that's what I was saying earlier. I ain't say hate uh, nobody. What, I don't minute. hate nobody. Congressman, what, what is... Just help each other. Help yourself first. What is... What is the answer? <laughs> well, I think the answer... <laughs> If there people, is an answer. People want the truth. All this laughing and giggling. Now you're talking about... Well, you laughing and giggling, Use this TV too. time to tell us what you laughing and giggling like everybody else. But you see, the laughing and giggling the, is not phony. The laughing and giggling. I have a function here. My function is to entertain yeah, and make as many no, people out there happy that's your job. as I possibly that's your job. can. And man, I do it every day. That's your job. That's right. Your job. I don't say it's phony because it's not phony. It's I don't have a phony bone in this on, body. When man. you want to know why I'm not coming on giggling my teeth. I didn't why say that. So I said you look troubled. No. I didn't say, I'm, why aren't I'm you giggling troubled. and laughing? I'm always troubled. Well, no, not I'm always. Because I, 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 you're in a world full of hypocrites. If I wasn't who I was, I'd be somewhere in the restaurant. So I ain't got no time to be looking like I'm so happy. Yeah, but he My said, brothers are catching hell and catching hell and catching hell. Dead yeah, hell. yeah, yeah, that's right. And all you all hypocrites saying, oh, you a hypocrite yourself. 
Yeah. Well, uh, well, what's the answer, Congressman? The answer is that, you know, it's easy to sit back and call everybody else in the world a hypocrite. And I'm not going to call you anybody call a, hypocrite. a hypocrite. I think, uh, I think everybody white has person, right to own opinion. Any white person in this artist that says, oh, when I tell the truth, my people ain't nothing but a hypocrite. I don't, bl I don't hate black people. I'm going to say hate. And, and I don't see, well, I don't dislike them. And I, I you know, and I don't see why you should dislike them. Well, then you whites. get with the government and tell them to get together and unite and do something. But, Mohammed, <laughs> you tell them to get together, you take your face and your complexion to the White House and repay the black people for all the work they done done, all the slaving. Get down, brother. Give them some land. <laughs> The last the reason about it and do something to repay. Well, let's do, maybe we ought to start back in Africa with the tribal chiefs who sold the slaves they into didn't slavery say you in the first place. That don't mean you, you know, you slavery. can't go back that and rectify 500 years of history. They didn't say you just can't do it. <laughs> they didn't sell you the lynchers. Let's be happy. Let's they didn't be sell us to you the burners. Time for time for living. We'll be right back. I feel, I feel I can say he has a remarkable personality, and I want you to welcome Sly Stone. Yeah. And somebody said, Rich Six Silver. o'clock, Rich Silver Slides in, slides in New York. And I thought, and somebody told me you were being driven down. I said, Well, no way he's going to, but you flew down. You know, Sly, yeah. Sly is such a ladies' man, the wicked witch of the West gave up her shoes. <laughs> I thought you was going to do something else. With <laughs> I got, to be cool got some for you, though, brother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're, you know, you're getting, this is a very comfortable media for you. You know, the first time you came on the show when this Tommy and Dickie's mothers were here, yeah. you were very nervous. Oh, yeah. You? And you told me you were nervous. Yeah. But you're not nervous anymore on TV, are you? Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a reaction did you get to your co-host week with me? Good. The best ever. Mike. That's wild. That's the best great. ever. Everybody thinks you're very, 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 very hip. Thank you. And you know, when you were here, it was a couple of days before your fantastic wedding. Did the bridesmaid wear black? Seriously? I didn't see all those people. The bridesmaid. The bridesmaid. Did right. she wear black? Because that's what I ain't got nothing to do with it. Is that racial, brother? Yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, actually, is. Actually, is that racial? You out of pocket, I read Mike. that. I think he out of pocket. Yeah. Myself. I mean, you're trying to play. I mean, we didn't want to go say nothing, man, but that's cool. I mean, go slide. You know what he's doing, oh, man. I don't know what I'm saying. I just came on. on the show to do the thing, man. You know, <laughs> <laughs> about the black bridesmaid. <laughs> Hey, you know what? You know what happened, though, Mike. No what? I got in trouble on now. Hey, with, with, with my mother-in-law. You, know, you better leave me. All right, Richard. You better leave me alone, man. I got a partner backstage that hit Thor and fast. fast. <laughs> I told Ali he was going to win. He got hey, wild on me. I knew Ali was going to win. He got crazy on me on the show. I don't man. remember. I didn't yes, see that show. I, I ain't know. cleaning I up for you about and Ali. I forgot about you. I, I, I forgot about your music. Yeah, that was quite a show. I'll never do that, man. You got to share this. Say, man. They don't think something's in. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. No, no. I, 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 got, I got in trouble. I told um, uh, Harold Rivera. Is that his name? That's his name, right? Yeah. Ronald Rivera. Yeah. That's yeah. why you say that when you go right. to college and come out. Uh, that uh, my, my mother-in-law played in the Planet of the Apes. And she did, but she's a beautiful lady, you know. And uh, she called me up screaming, man, because naturally everybody would think that she, well, by saying that, I didn't think you were playing Planet of the Apes. Man. Planet of the Apes. All right. Okay. No, I got to see you. Okay. Just, well, no, come on. Okay, home. You going to do me like that? Yeah. Okay. Now what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I only got up because you were serious. What's that? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh man. Watch me find a place. So your mother in law got upset. It, no, she got upset, but she's not upset anymore. She's a great lady. Yeah. And you wanted, why'd you bring it up, Sock? <laughs> because I was, if she's not upset anymore, why did you bring it up? Because you talked about the marriage and 22,000 oh, people see. streaking. And I wasn't going to let you talk about something like that and black people and black mother in laws and stuff. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. no. I, I, don't play, I don't play that, Mike. Oh, yes, right, Mike. I told you you're going to mess up. <laughs> 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 hey, you're right. Look at the Mike trouble Cusa. I've been. I'm only oh, going by what I read. You was backstage <laughs> telling me, I'm going to bring it up about the black. I said, Mike, <laughs> you're a troublemaker. Yeah. Mike, don't do that, man, because Sly don't play that. You said, oh, I'm going to do it anyway. Hey, Mike. <laughs> hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. They told me that I was the only one, and I am, that can make Richard play drums. As we left you, Sly was saying on yesterday's show that Richard would play drums on this show. It's like a soap opera. No, you were. Uh, you, said, uh, you said you could get him to play drums. I'm scared uh -huh. you get two black people in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, you going to get him? To yeah. Play drums? Uh -huh. What's the screen for, Sly? It's like in Jay's clothes. Was this part of your act or what? No, well, you introduced me to a lot of clothes. There's a hospital bed behind show. that screen. I wish you would wait till I quit talking. Oh, I ain't going to wait. <laughs> you going to wait. This time. Oh, okay, I'm going to wait, bro. Okay, home. You going to play drums? You gonna play drums? <laughs> he is hurt. I know Gilmore. Like I'm you know, like know Mike, the certain, boom, boom. The certain black people don't understand it. All right, don't you start that. Of uh, show Don't you start. I mean, don't you start that. I mean, we here are striving for a better future for. Us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, last time we had a big screen. Remember? Yeah, we did the fashion show. And the government took all my clothes. Oh. The government took your clothes. I... Yeah, my oh. Oh. <laughs> They had to give them back because you closed up the mint. No, and. <laughs> <laughs> and cars. And cars. Yeah, they took them. Did you get them back? You must have. There, yeah, there. I got them back. Ain't okay. no back for Sly. Come on, do the thing.